Today I'm going to do a tutorial on what I call a Paul Fuentes piece. Paul Fuentes is a Mexican artist who specializes in Photoshop pieces. Um, you can see his work at paulfuentesdesign.com. Um, and here's just a little bit of his work. He does some amazing things and we're going to try to mimic his stuff even though um, we'll never be as good as he is. So here's just a look at his website. And again, that's paulfuentesdesign.com. So first thing I'm going to do is go to Google and I'm going to type in ice cream cone. And um, that's going to be part of what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to find an ice cream cone. I click on it first to make it large, drag it to the desktop, and then from the desktop I drag it to Photoshop. Don't drag it directly to Photoshop. I size it how I like it. I center it. When I'm happy with it, I click, 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 make the X go away. Next, I'm going back to Google Images. I'm going to type in sun and I'm going to find a picture that I like of the sun. I click on it to make it large. I drag and drop it to the desktop and um, what do you know it didn't drag. Sometimes images don't drag. When that happens all you have to do is just take a screenshot, shift command 4 on an apple, shift command 4, screenshot and now that'll be on the desktop. So now if I look at my desktop the shift command 4 took a screenshot, there it is. Okay, so now I need to size my sun and I'm going to turn the opacity down. If you look at the layers, opacity, I'm going to turn it to about 50%. That helps me see through it so I can put it exactly where I want it. And when I'm happy with it, I'm going to, um, I'm going to click, click, click to make the X go away and I'm going to turn the opacity back to 100. Now I click on the magic wand, I click here, I go to my eraser, and I'm going to erase. You don't have to use the magic wand for that, but I like to. Now I need to shut my magic wand off, and then now I'm just going to use the eraser, and I'm going to click on the eraser tool, and I'm going to size it a little bit using the size bar at the top. So there is my eraser, there's my size, I'm going to make it smaller, and I'm going to erase. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see better. There it goes. And now I'm going to erase around my sun as best I can. Don't worry if your hand's a little shaky, that's okay. And there I go. Now I'm going back to Google and I'm going to type in bowling ball because I'm going to use a bowling ball as my cherry on top. There's a good one. I'm going to drag and drop it to the desktop and then I drag it from the desktop to my canvas. I'm going to size it and put it where I want it. I'm going to turn the opacity down to about 50% so I can see through it. Then I'm going to turn my opacity back to 100%, use the magic wand use the eraser, erase around it as best I can, and now I'm good. Now, I want to um, color the background so it's not just a boring white. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to call it layer zero. A new background layer has to be named layer zero. Don't ask me why, it just that's the rule. So layer zero, and now you can see um, I have two layer zeros. I'm going to rename one and keep the other one as layer zero. I'm going to go to layer zero, click a color that I want, and then using the paint bucket I click just once and the whole screen turns green. Now you'll see there's a white box around the ice cream cone. I'm going to go to that ice cream layer, that's where the box is, click on my magic wand, click on my eraser tool, and I'm going to make my eraser tool a little bit bigger, and I'm going to erase that um, all of that and hit turn my magic wand, wand off 
And now I am ready to, um, oh, first I need to erase a little bit. There's a little bit of a smudge on the cherry layer. So I click on the cherry layer, I erase a little bit of the smudge, I make sure it looks great. Then when I am all done and happy with it, I'm going to crop it just to make it look a little bit nicer. Hit the check mark and then I'm going to file, save as, I'm going to give it a name, I'm going to save it on the desktop so I can find it easily and change the format to JPEG. Hit OK and it is now on my desktop. And that's it. Enjoy.